All right, well, this is Megan here with I Run Far, and I'm here in Warzazat, Morocco, with the returning champion of the Marathon de Saab. I'm here with Salama El Afra out of the country of Jordan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Can I say that? <laughs> and I'm also here with Amar Kab. Sabah. 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 Sorry. And he's going to play translator for us uh, today between English and Jordanian Arabic, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> and um, Omar, he's an MDS competitor himself, so we're all getting ready to go starve ourselves and have some fun mm -hmm. in the Sahara. <laughs> So I want to say thank you for joining me for this interview today, Salama. Uh, he, he would like to thank you for the interview and he's very happy that he's doing it and he feels it's very important to him and his name as well. <laughs> well, thank you. You're the returning champion. You were last year's winner. How are you feeling? It's three days from the start of the marathon. فاضل ثلاث أيام على الماراثون وأنت اللي بتدافع عن اللقب هذه السنة فكيف شعورك وأنت داخل على هذا السباق هذا؟ والله زي شعور كل سنة يعني أنا شاركت في هذا السباق هاي السنة الثامنة وتعودت على هذا الوضع وبالعكس أنا مبسوط كثير إني راح أجي وأدافع عن هذا اللقب. He says that this is his eighth year doing this. So basically, it's it's the same feeling, the same thing. It's it's feeling the competition coming in and. You know, he's he's just gonna do what he's always been doing, and it's worked for him. So <laughs> that's how he feels about it. Well, I've been spending time uh, here in Morocco with some of the Moroccan runners, and um, I think they're a little nervous to be racing you this year, Salama. What do you think of that? I like that the other part of the walk to my land, the Indian Magarba, who, you know, they're a little bit nervous about the work that they're doing, so they're going to be a little bit nervous about the work فشو رأيك في هذا الكلام؟ والله هو شيء أكيد بيصير توتر بس لكن هذا هو سباق يعني راح يصير راح يصير في توتر أو لا بس ليش الواحد يضغط على نفسه ويتوتر؟ أنا من النوع اللي بحب أركز بالسباق أكثر من التوتر بحب أوقف التقنيات الكاملة كيف إني أنا أفوز بهذا السباق عشان ما أتوتر. Being a bit nervous is, is a part of the fun of the race, it's a part of the experience. So, uh, all, although like they all feel that at the end of the day, but uh, he said that his tactic has always been thinking of the actual tactical aspects of the race versus you know spending time on being nervous, and, and, and that's what you know what he thinks should be happening with everybody else so that they can compete well. It's a focus on your own race rather than. The externals of what other people are doing. يعني أنت بتركز على حالك أكثر مما تركز على الباقي شو عم بي. إيش أكيد أنا ما بهمني الناس الثانية أنا بهمني إني أنا على أرقى السباق صح وأكون راضي عن نفسي في هاي المشاركة أنا تدربت كويس والحمد لله شو ما قدمت بكون راضي عن نفسي إنه هذا اللي عندي يعني أنا قدمت. He says absolutely he cannot worry about what others do. He just needs to run and all he cares about is for him to be self satisfied that he has given everything that he's got. After all the training that he's done, so that's the end result that he's looking for um, to feel that he has laid it all on the table. He's done the best that he can. يعني بالآخر هدفك الرئيسي بيكون إنك تعمل أفضل ما عندك كل بقية على الله. إيش أكيد يعني أنا بحب إنه دائما يعني الحمد لله كل مرة بيجي بشارك دائما بعمل اللي عندي وفي النهاية بحقق يعني إن شاء الله هاي السنة راح أحقق يعني السنة اللي فاتت كنت مصر على الفوز وإن شاء الله هاي راح يكون الإصرار أكثر وأكثر. وبإذن الله إن شاء الله راح أفوز. إن شاء الله. He said that you know he self satisfaction is definitely the ultimate goal. You lay it all out and you wait and see what happens. But he had insisted on winning last year and he pushed enough for it and he's just as determined this year. But he's gonna lay it all out and let the result take care of itself. He has victory on the brain. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you're a returning veteran to this race. This is your eighth time running it. Um, you're a veteran to the podium. You have um, one win, and it's 
four second places, is that Three right? Three second places. Three actually. second places and two third places? Yep, but there is a lost one there. And then there is just one more. Um, your first visit to the Marathon de Somme was an interesting one, I just learned. You uh, did not place on the podium. You finished, but you had an interesting experience. Can you tell me about that? تقول لك بعد نتائجك الفظيعة ثلاث مرات ثاني ومرتين ثالث ومرة أول وبس في واحدة هيك اللي هي أول مرة أنت أجيت فيها كانت خبرتك مختلفة شوية أو أو يعني اللي أنت اختبرته بالسباق مختلف شوية شو بتقدر تقول معه؟ إيش أكيد يعني بالعكس أنا هاي اللي أول مرة شاركت فيها بالمغرب كانت أول زيارة في تاريخ حياتي إني أجي على المغرب وبالذات على برزة ذات يعني وأنا فجأة لعبت سباق الصحراء ما كنت أعرف على البوصلة ولا كنت أعرف كيف السباق أو كيف تتعامل مع السباق أو مع العدائين كنت عداء ماراثون عادي على الطريق لكن هاي المشاركة صحتني على شغلات كثيرة خلتني أتعلم شغلات كثيرة وكيف إني أنا يعني فترة الضيعان بالذات يعني خلتني أصر إني أتدرب كويس وأتعلم على الخارطة والبوصلة وأرجع ولازم أفوز بالسباق. Well, he said when he first came, he was just a marathon runner who used to run the streets just like you know anybody else who's running marathons. Never experienced desert, never never knew how to read a map or a compass, and then ah. <laughs> all of a sudden he found himself in the middle of this. Uh, he said that it was his first visit to Morocco altogether, and he was very, you know so it was a great experience. And uh, definitely with the lack of capability of reading the compass being at that first position, it's so easy to get lost. So it's much easier to get absolutely. lost. Absolutely. <laughs> so he actually was able, he, he, he was lost in that desert. And he said that the period where he was out in the desert being lost, he, he realized that he has to come back and learn how to read the compass, how to read the map really well in order for him to be able to compete. Uh-huh. And uh, that, that's he said that that experience has created the person that you're that's sitting here with you actually. Um, being being challenged and absolutely that way <laughs> gave him sort of hone his skills to mm-hmm. to be yeah, able to. to look <laughs> إيش أكيد وكانت التجربة الثانية هي لما جربت يعني مرة ثانية رجعت للمغرب جيت وشاركت. وكانوا الحمصة الأفوال اثنين مسيطرين على السباق عدت سنوات أول ثاني أول ثاني فأنا هاي السنة اللي أنا أجيت فيها هي 2006 فجأة يعني كنت مفاجأة للجميع دخلت فيها من محمد والإحسان كانت مفاجأة يعني لكل العالم إنه أنا أفرقهم عن بعض وهاي هي الرياضة يعني بالعكس هم أصدقائي لغاية الآن وأنا ركضت بهذا السباق وأنا كنت أتعلم منهم يعني كيف يتعاملوا مع التضاريس وبالعكس أنا أخذت خبرة كبيرة من هاي السنوات اللي أنا شاركت فيها كيف أتعامل مع التضاريس أتعامل مع السباق كيف أحمل الشنطة كيف أقل الأكل وأنا أرفض وهذا الأشياء أنا مبسوط عليه كثير يعني. He said that the second most valuable experience was the second time coming in. That's when he realized that he's got potential that he didn't know about in running this race, uh, where he came second in between Lehsan and Hansen. And he said that they're, they're very much dear friends to him, and he had learned a lot from these two uh, actors how, how to take care of the backpack, how to eat on, 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 while you're running on the road, you know, and, and all of these little things that this marathon is made out of. And he owes a lot of that experience to two both the Hansel brothers who, you know, who, who were actually great champions at that time. And for him to realize that he could come and position between these. These two, he understood what his position is. Yeah, yeah. His observations about the Ahantal brothers um, sort of helping and guiding and teaching isn't, it's not a unique observation. Rashid says the same thing, the Akhtar brothers say the same thing. The Ahantals have helped a lot of people learn how to race this race. زي ما أنت فإنه محمد وحسن الحمصل يعني علموا ناس كثير وصعدوا ناس كثير في هذا السباق يعني أنا منهم كان واحد من هاي الأشخاص. إيش أكيد يعني أصلاً في المغرب يعني أول ما كان موجود عائلة الحمصل ما كان هذا حي هذا السباق بالعكس أنا بشكرهم يعني هم قدموا لي عنهم الإحسان الحمصل بهذا السباق عشر سنوات 
وهذا انا بفتخر فيه يعني بطل كبير انه يفوز بسباق عشر سنوات متتاليه وبعدين يظهر اخوه محمد الحنصر بنفس الوقت مو كل السنوات الجايه يظهر واحد اخر من عاد حنصر او واحد من المغرب شيء اكيد لكن بنفس الوقت انا فخور بنفسي يعني اني انا قدرت اشارك معاهم واتغلب عليهم افوز عليهم في النهايه انا افوز بما رحمه الله يسر. He said that he believes that the Hansel family is actually a part of the legacy of, of the Mohammed Khan Dissab. And as a matter of fact, it, it's a part of what created that unique experience of Mohammed Khan Dissab. He said that he's proud that he ever met them all together and, and that uh, uh, definitely he's proud having ran with them and been able to train with them. And he said that, you know, Lahsan with 10 times legendary wins, you know, it, it is just something that is unbelievable that nobody, but nobody can disrespect or, or, or make right. belittle right. in any way, shape or form. Right. And that he's, he's proud that he was able to even run, you know, and actually not only run with them, but be able to compete with them and then split them and even get a win out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's turn our sights to this race, which starts in a couple of days. Um, I want to ask you, Salma, who's your competition? Who do you have your eye on? نيجي على السنة هاي على الإنسان الواضي. مين اللي أنت بتحس إنه حيكون منافس أو إنك أنت بدك تركز عليه في هاي الفترة؟ مش أكيد يعني أنا شو ما كان في عدائين بصراحة يعني بس أنا بعتبر محمد حمصل. هو اقوى العدائين والمنافسين الي لانه هو من المكان هو اللي عنده الخبره الكافيه والاكثر بالنسبه للعدائين هو الوحيد اللي راح يكون منافس. هي سيد ذات باي فار ذا برزنس اوف محمد الحنصل ويل بي ذا سكيري بارت اوف اوف ذا هول ريس هيز اكسبيرينس هيز نولج اوف ذا بليس Uh, his capabilities as runners, that, that's, that's the competition that he really would turn his head to this year. <laughs> He's watching Muhammad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, we're about to head out to a pretty special place. The Sahara is beautiful, um, but stark and difficult with its deep mm -hmm. inner um, When you, Salama, think about the Sahara Desert, what do you think about? احنا قربنا نطلع على مكان جميل جدا اللي هو الصحراء او الصحراء الغربيه يعني واحنا يعني مكان جميل جدا لكنه صعب وخصوصا الحراره اللي فيه دائما صعبه فشو هو احساسك في وانت هلا رايح على هذيك المنطقه؟ والله حاليا ما بشعر باحساس هذاك المكان بفكر فيه صح اقول الجو بارد جو حرارة جو بس لكن بس أحمل الشنطة وخلص وأنزل من الباص على الخيمة بنسى كل إشي ما بفكر غير بالمنافسة بغض النظر عن شو كانت التضاريس حالية باردة عالية لكن ما بفكر غير كيف أفوز بالسباق. He said that uh, he only gets to think of the race itself. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the, he's focused for the race. Uh, he's yeah. He said that right now, all, all, all that there is to it is that he, he doesn't feel much until he gets carry his backpack and, uh, and gets steps off the bus. And once he's there, it's more of a feel of focus because the focus is more closer to competition than it is to actually be in the Sahara. I think he's way past enjoying it, <laughs> <laughs> and that's an addition from me. <laughs> Well, last question for you. I hear you're an avid gram counter when it comes to your backpack. You want to reduce the grams, reduce the grams, reduce the grams. <laughs> what is something special in your backpack this year? Maybe food or something um, that will help you stay comfortable out there. What's inside your backpack? Uh, <laughs> فهلا انت عمالك ترتب شو هالشيء الخاص اللي بتحطه جوا الشنطه اللي ممكن يساعدك في السباق في اي شيء كويس؟ تمام كل شيء له شيء يعني وانت ترخص في عندك الاكل الطاقه زي التمر والجيل والباور والنهاية نفس الشيء هذا له شيء والشيء الثاني اللي هي ضروري بنفس الوقت اني انا اخذ وجبه الغداء وجبه العشاء يعني كل شيء بكمل بعض. صدق يعني ما في شيء خاص معين يعني. Okay. There is nothing really special about what he packs. It's just about being smart on how to put the energy food for the run itself. 
and where to place it as well. Uh, and uh, other than that, it's, it's a matter of just making sure that the lunch and the dinner are, are good enough for, for the needs that he has out there. بس في شيء ثاني بحب احمله وما يعني هو مش اكل بفتخر فيه دائما باستمرار يعني بحب كل نهايه بغض النظر عن النتيجه اللي هو العلم الاردني دائما حامله معي بالشنطه باستمرار باحمله في كل فينش مرحله. He said that the one thing that he feels very special about has nothing to do with food or anything and he actually carries always uh, the Jordanian flag that he brings out at every finish of every stage and, and, and that's something that he feels very connected to and that's a part of his run. It's worth carrying the grams of the flag? Yes, it's worth carrying the grams of the flag. It's worth carrying the grams of the flag. تستاهل لازم اشيله يعني كل السنوات اللي قبل شفته فيهم لازم اشيله يعني ما از ريجاردلس ويذر اتس اتس كرامز اور نوت اتس وورث كارينج اتس وورث كارينج يا سلاما اي وونت تو ويش يو ذا بيست اوف لاك ات ذا 2013 ماراثون دي سام اند ذا بيست اوف لاك ان ديفندينغ يور تشامبيون شيب اجينست ذا بريتي فيرس كومبيتيشن ذاتس جوين تو بي اوت ذير اند اي لاستلي وونت تو سي كيب يور كومباس هاندي اند دونت اند اب ان الجزائر ذس تايم بتقول لك شو اسمه حظ موفق على هذا السنه وان شاء الله بتقدر تساعد لانه بتدافع عن لقبك وخلي معك البوصل وبلاش توصل الجزائر كمان مره لا 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 بس انا تعودت يعني بسرعه هاي السنه دربت ما في الكفايه وشاركت في سباقات كثير والحمد لله حتى السباقات اللي شاركت فيها فزت فيها وانت كنت مع يا عمار دربت وادي رم وكنت اعيد على البوصله باستمرار وبكره راح اعيد على البوصله وراح اتذكر كل شيء يعني وان شاء الله انه اذا ضعت هذا الشيء بكون من رب العالمين يعني او اذا صار معي اصابه او شيء بكون انا قدمت اللي عندي و Well, yeah. Rabbin, I mean. He said, no worries, he's been well trained. Uh, he said that we've been together in Wadi Ram reviewing the compass and the whole thing. So we, we've done our homework and anything that happens, that's distant. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs>